So today let's make an Asian dish. In this kit, you're gonna have six ounces of mahi. We're gonna marinate that in a ponzu sauce. We're also gonna make some sushi rice, serve it with broccolini, and then a teriyaki glaze is gonna go on the plate as well. In this kit, when you open it up, it might not look like much, but it's gonna be a meal that's gonna be packed with flavor and have a little bit of a Japanese spin on it. We'll have the recipe with the QR code at the top and the ingredients on the bottom, as well as the procedure on how to make it. You're going to have ponzu sauce, and this is gonna have the viscosity of water. It's not gonna be very thick at all. You're also gonna have a teriyaki glaze. So we've made this glaze for you. It's gonna be a sauce on the plate. Kosher salt, some pure ground white pepper, some sushi rice, some rice vinegar that we've already dissolved sugar into, and we'll talk about that a little later. A pineapple red pepper topping. Six ounces of mahi, one scallion, and then some broccolini spears. So there are two things we have to get started right away. The first thing is to find your ponzu sauce. So again, it has the viscosity of water. So we're gonna put a little bit of that ponzu in the bottom of this ninth pan. And I'll go into why we call this the ninth pan in a minute. So ponzu sauce is a mixture of soy sauce, mirin, and usually some sort of citrus fruit. A lot of times it's yuzu, but in this case, this has lime in it. So we're gonna take our mahi filet and we're gonna lay that into the ponzu. And then we're gonna take the rest of it and pour it over the top. And just make sure it's good and covered. And then take this and set it in the fridge. The next thing is to get our sushi rice ready to prep. So we're gonna take that sushi rice, pour it into a fine mesh strainer, save the container so we know how much water to use to cook it. So there's two ways to wash the rice. And when you're washing the rice, you're washing out the impurities. You can either wash it three times like this. Essentially, you would just cover that up. And just keep moving it around. The other way would be to put it in a container and let water run over the rice while you're stirring it. Wash it until the water runs clear. So you can see the water is cloudy on this first wash. We're gonna dump that. And we're gonna do it two more times. So you can see by the third wash, the water is a lot clearer than it was in the beginning. So there's two ways to cook the rice. We're gonna cook ours on the stove top, covered. You can also cook it in a rice cooker, but either way you would combine the water and the rice first. So the rice came to about the top of this. We're gonna put equal amount of water in there and just a little bit extra, not much. So the reason I'm using this is somebody asked me about this earlier in the week. What is it, where can I get it? and it's portable. You can use it for camping, power outages, things like that. It runs on butane fuel. So you can find these on Amazon. Again, it's called a portable butane burner. We're gonna turn it on high and bring it up to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn it on low and we're gonna put a cover on it for about 20 minutes and let it cook. So it's at a boil, we're gonna put a cover on it and we're gonna turn it on low. After it's cooked on low heat for 20 minutes, we're gonna take it off the burner, leave it covered, and let it sit for 10 minutes. And same thing if you're using a rice cooker, don't take the cover off, just turn it off and let it sit for 10 minutes. So really there's only two things that have to be prepped for this meal. So the first thing is the broccolini. So broccolini is a cross between broccoli and Chinese kale. So that's where it gets its long stem from. So it's actually a hybrid vegetable. The two other vegetables have been combined to create this one. If you have a small one in the bunch, you want all these other ones to be the same size. So you can see there's a size difference. So what we're gonna do is just take the broccolini and cut it straight down the middle. And then that'll give it an even cooking time. So once again, you can cut it straight across like this if you choose to, but I always like to get it on a bias and turn my knife at an angle and then just really thin. So I've removed the mahi from the ponzu sauce. The ponzu is gonna have a high salt content to it, so I'm not even going to salt this fish, but I am gonna add a little bit of white pepper to it. And then I have my hot pan here. I've added a little bit of canola oil to it. I'm gonna always put my presentation side down first, so we're gonna put that in the pan first. 
reason why you put your presentation side down first is that's where you're going to get the best color. So when you have your desired color, we're just going to turn it over. And now we've removed it from the hot pan and put it to a room temperature pan and we're going to finish cooking it in the oven. So earlier when I talked about the ninth pan and why we call it that, everything is based off of this. So this is called a hotel pan. So it's two inches deep and this is a standard hotel pan. The reason they call this a ninth pan is because it takes nine of these to make up one hotel pan. So this is a ninth pan as well, but this is a four inch ninth pan and this is a two inch ninth pan. Other pans like this, this is called a sixth pan because again, it would take six of these to make up one hotel pan. And then this is called a third pan because again, it would take three of these to make up one hotel pan. And this is a six inch third pan. And then this is called a half pan because it takes two of these to make up one hotel pan. And this is a two inch half pan. So this is just boiling water. I've added salt to it and we're gonna add our broccolini and we're gonna cook it until it's tender. So I've just removed this from the oven and with fish, I like to cook it to about 140 degrees. So you find the thickest most part of the fish and try to hit the center of that part. And that's perfect, that's 141. So we've cooked our rice on low for about 20 minutes, covered, and then we pulled it off the heat and let it sit for about 10 minutes. So let's check it out. So you have rice, there's no additional moisture in there. What we wanna do is take that rice vinegar and sugar mixture that we have and drizzle it over the top. And then with the wooden spoon, if you have one, fluff up the rice. So at this point, you could use this rice to make sushi rolls. A lot of times when people say sushi or they interpret sushi, they think raw fish. Sushi actually means just vinegared rice, which is this right here. So this is sushi rice. However, in a sushi roll, you can have raw fish in a sushi roll. But a lot of times when people are talking about raw fish, they're talking about sashimi. So now we have all our mise en place, and mise en place means everything in its place. So the first thing we'll do is take that teriyaki glaze, I heated it up just a little bit, and we're gonna do a straight line. And then we're just gonna take the plate and tilt it. Now we'll take our sushi rice. And with the broccolini, once I pulled it out of the boiling water, I put some sesame oil on it and a little bit of salt and white pepper. And now our mahi. That pineapple relish, I heat it up just a little bit. And we'll put a little more glaze right up front. And then some of the scallion threads, some seeds to the sauce. 